I need their freaking belief at a 10. And so if you're watching this right now, I'm asking you a simple question. Is your belief a 10? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. Today I'm going to talk to you about five techniques that'll skyrocket your sales. Now I want you to understand this, right? I want you to take two human beings, right? There's one over here and there's one over here. And I'm going to tell you this. I know a lot of guys that are really skilled and gals that they're really skilled, like level 10, super skilled, tonality, body language, word tracks, they're the best, but they still don't close the best. Right? And then I see people over here that have the skill of like a three or a four that can outclose these people of these high skills. And during this video, I'm gonna give you the five techniques, the five pillars, the five secrets to the things that'll help you understand and identify where is your hole, why you're not closing more. Okay, now I want you to understand this, right? Anybody in the world, I can take someone who's closing 30% and I can get them to 40%. Pretty easy, that's, that's pretty simple. I can get them to maybe even 50%. But getting someone to like 90%, could only happen with these five things all happen cohesively together at once, which you can do. I do it myself and you can do it. I built a hundred million dollar company. I have a hundred million dollar sales team. I want to tell you this. If you're an individual sales pro and you're watching this, or if you're a big business owner, these five things in any industry, I don't care what industry you're in. I don't care what market you're in. I don't care what your economy in. If you can tackle these five things, you will literally close higher than anyone else in your industry and you'll be the best, okay? So let's start, guys. Grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. I love you guys. Let's get to number one. All right, guys, so here we are. So this is gonna be the skill of sales in general. I want you to write this down. This is gonna be number one, the skill of sales in general. Now, underneath that, I want you to write down tonality. I want you to write down body language. I want you to write down word tracks, okay? Now, by the way, I told you I was gonna give you five things. The first one is the one that you must know. It's super simple. Everybody kind of starts here. And as we go, we're gradually gonna get in a little bit deeper. And four and five are like hitting home at like how you close at that 90% ratio, which by the way, you can do, okay? And I know that because I'm in sales, but you have to be the best. You have to be the top 1%. So I want you to do me a favor. I want you to write this down, word tracks, okay? So I want you to write down the five by five. Okay, what does this mean? This means when you get an objection and somebody says no, like, and they say, I gotta talk to my wife, I need to think about it, I, I'm not interested. Okay, what are the five ways that you handle the top five objections you get every day? So write down, I need to talk to my spouse. Now what I want you to do is that I want, I want you to write down five different ways that you handle that objection. Now if you're sitting here and you go, Andy, I don't have five different ways, that's a problem. That's a problem, okay? And I have tons of courses and training and events that you can come to that I, I teach many different ways to overcome di many different. Matter of fact, if you go through my 3,000 videos on YouTube right now, you could probably dig through each one and find many different ways to overcome in many different industries. Maybe you have 50 people in your office and there are 20 that are the best and they can each give you a way that they handle it, okay? But I need you to know the five by five, okay? That's five different ways to handle your top five objections, all right? Now, by the way, you guys are happy to text me and there'll be a link below in the description box if you guys want to really be coached by me on a high level you guys can always reach out to me but let's keep moving past that um, body language this is a big one I don't know if you do face-to-face -face sales or if you do phone sales but I'm gonna tell you body language face-to-face -face, people look at you and they're either getting a good vibe that they want to move forward or they're getting a bad vibe and they're getting turned off these are things that your body does sales is a transfer of emotion it's to take the way you feel and you push it into your client you guys should know that that's called that's called um, persuasion it's called influence but it's really called transfer of emotion you must be in a buying state to put the client in a buying state. You must be in a good mood, good vibes, put the client in good mood, good vibes. Tonality. This is when you slow down. This is when you lower your voice. This is when you're like, bam, I knew this was gonna fix that problem. This is when you come up, you go down. It's kind of like, have you ever watched um, maybe your favorite song or something and you're watching it on your Bluetooth and there's that deal that's doing this. It's almost like a heart monitor and it's going like this. Well, dead salespeople have like a flat line. It's just, it's nothing. And then great salespeople, it's like pow, pow, pow. It's because they're pushing the transfer of emotion into the client. Look, dude, spending money, a lot of people get stressed out, they feel pressure, okay? They don't have the courage to make a decision today, and that's your job to help them do that, okay? So you must be the best at this. So the skill of sales in general, okay, step one, Tonality, five by five. Word tracks, maybe your, maybe your, your presentation, maybe the you knock on doors, maybe it's the first 30 seconds, what you say. That's how you overcome objections when you run into problems or obstacles, 
Okay, how you use your words, your word play, that's gonna be your word tracks, those things will determine step one, how well that you'll close. And that'll get you to that, like maybe 30 to 40%. Okay, you feel me? All right, let's keep moving. All right guys, so number two is gonna be the skill of conviction. This is gonna be short, it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be easy. The skill of conviction means when you're talking to somebody, does somebody feel certainty in your voice? Whenever you're talking to them, do they believe that you believe in what you're saying? Do they believe that your product really solves their problems? Do they believe that their goals will really be met by your product and that will really fix what it is that they've been struggling with or what they want and that need that they have? Do they think that they'll really get that with you based on your conviction that you have when you're talking to them, when you're presenting them? Do you have eye contact the whole time? Do you have believability the whole time? Are you smiling with your eyes? Are you smiling with your mouth? You know, do you believe that this is true, all of these things that you're saying? This is conviction, guys. And we're in a world right now where honestly, a lot of people don't have conviction. They're not good at communicating and they don't make clients feel very certain about products because the person that's delivering the information doesn't have much certainty. Okay, so make sure step two, super simple, is that if you don't look like you believe in what you're saying, how in the hell can they believe what you're saying? Does that make sense? So number two is massive conviction. Okay guys, so number three, do you believe, this is a question for you, that your product will truly solve their problems? There's no gray area here. It's either yes or no. Right now, I want you to write that down. Do I believe, does does the company that I work for, do I really believe that my company's product will solve my customer's problems? Their thoughts, their struggles, their pains, all the things that they have, this hope that they they believe, that they wanna believe that there's this product out there that will help them get their problem solved, you know, or they can get that need filled or met that they want. Do you believe, this is a very simple question, and, and notice I said the word believe. Belief is something that you can take a salesman or a saleswoman and they have a level 10 skill, but a level two belief, okay? And then you can have a salesperson over here that has a level 10 belief and a level two skill. This person can outclose the level 10 skill. Whoever has the most belief wins. Whoever's the most sold wins. That's the way this game works. So I'm asking you a very simple question. If you wanna go from outside of 30 to 40% closing, I don't know what industry you're in, whatever that is, and you wanna go up to 70, 80, 90, you wanna go up to as close to 100% as you can, the higher that you can get your belief, okay? Now listen to me, belief is either real or it's fake, okay? I know a lot of people that work for companies right now and they're like, yeah, no, I believe. No, they don't believe. Look, I'm gonna tell you this, I have meetings every single morning and what we do is that we don't role play always off a script or off training, like overcome any objection. A lot of the times I share with them all the testimonies of all the millions of people's lives that we've changed and who we've helped. You know why? Because that reminds them why they pick up the phone all day while they're working all day long. Actually what they're doing this for is because our product is the best and it helps people. So no matter what skill level they're at, whether it's a one or a 10, I need their freaking belief at a 10. And so if you're watching this right now, I'm asking you a simple question. Is your belief a 10? That your product can help every single person that that you talk to? Does it help people solve their problems? Does it help them get their needs met? Does it help them fix their pain? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, now you can close higher than anyone. This belief can never waver. This is the secret. Whoever believes the most, all the salespeople, all the companies out there, whoever believes the most wins. This is the invisible. This is something that people have tried to mock. They try to steal from my company and they can't because it's real. And so I want you to know the secret is invisible. It's something that is infectious. It's something that when you're talking to someone, it makes people catch fire because they know that you have something that they've never felt or never seen in anyone else. And by the way, when I talk to someone else, it's two souls that are connecting. Why? Because it's real. And that's what everybody looks for in this world. So number three, do you really believe? And if you do, welcome to your highest closing ratio you've ever seen in your life. This is what we need to get up. Okay guys, number four, don't sell your product, okay? Listen to me, I know there's product knowledge. You guys have always heard me. There's product knowledge and then there's people knowledge. I really don't give a shit about products. I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? I care about what are the needs of your clients? What are the pains of your clients? What are the problems that your your clients have? What are the goals that your clients wanna get met? Can we back into that for a minute and then let's go to the product? Now do we believe that the product really works? If it is, now let's go find what are the problems. 
Guys, sell the results. Don't sell the product. If you were to go into Lowe's and buy a drill gun, do you wanna buy the drill gun, right? The screw gun, or do you wanna buy the hole that gets put in the wall and how easy it is? Like, what do you want me to sell you on? Like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna screw holes in the wall. That's the result, right? You wanna hang a picture? Dude, this right here, this is amazing, but the holes that this makes, you're never gonna have to worry about anything falling off the wall because the holes that this makes is better than any other drill gun. The drill gun creates the result. I'm gonna sell the result, okay? Not the drill gun. Because it's not what this is, it's about what it does. And so like, you can sell your product what it is, but the emotional attachment comes from what it does. And, and you have to paint the picture and they have to see that. So, don't sell your product sell the products of the product, what it does and what the results are. All right, this last one, number five. Let's get to it. Hey guys, if you made it to this point in the video, number one, you're the true 1%. I wanna tell you thank you, I love you, and I appreciate you, and I'm grateful for you. I put out free education all the time uh, and, and free content because it, honestly, it helped change my life. My company did about 160 million uh, last year. We're gonna do 250 this year. I train 500,000 salespeople across the country and 10,000 companies. If you're watching this right now and you're obsessed, you're a psycho competitor, and you're just obsessed with learning, and like, you know, you're like, dude, that's me. And you're like, Andy, I wanna get close to you. Here's what I wanna tell you. I put uh, a description, a little link, go down to the description box below, I put a little link, you click on it. It's gonna ask for your name, your phone number, your email, make sure you enter it all correctly, and it's gonna ask you eight questions. Answer these eight questions, and if I feel like that you're someone that qualifies for someone that I wanna really push and take to the next level, whether you're a salesperson just getting in the game, whether you run a company, or whether you own a $500 million company, I don't care. If we're the same, and you're competitive, and you're psycho like me, and you wanna build something big, and leave a legacy and change lives, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. I love you guys, and let's get to number five. Okay guys, number five, here we go. By the way, I need you to write this real big across your piece of paper. Sales is the transfer of belief. The first four things all I talked about was basically is how much do you believe? Sales is the transfer of belief. And I told you if you don't believe, you're not gonna transfer any belief into them, so don't be surprised when they don't buy because they don't believe you because you didn't believe first. Does that make sense? Okay, so sales is a transfer of belief, but what is number five? Number five is gonna be work ethic. You have to work hard. You have to understand this. If you wanna convert at a higher level, you're gonna have to take more swings. You're gonna have to get up to bat more times. You're gonna have to stay on the phone longer. You're gonna have to shake more hands. You're gonna have to show up early and you're gonna have to go home late. I know that you knew this, but a lot of you don't do this. It's like people know what to do, but they don't do what they know. I don't understand it, I don't get it. I'll tell you to believe and you'll know that what I'm saying is correct. I'll tell you to work hard and what I'm saying you know is correct. I'll tell you that you have to practice your words tracks and write down the five by five and you'll know that what I'm saying is correct. But yet, most people still won't do it. Why? Okay? Like, I want to tell you guys something. I never knew the possibility that was there for me, um, really on like a financial level, or I could put my family in a good place, or how I could grow my business to be this massive empire, or I could change millions of lives. I, I, I never knew all that was possible because honestly, the people that were around, that I was around, were telling me to do these things, but they were double standard people. They weren't doing what they told me. And so like, I was doing at a higher level than most, but I wasn't doing it all the way that I could. And when I started self-developing, I paid a lot of money to put myself around the best in the world. And when I did, I elevated my standards, I elevated my human excellence, I started working harder, I started believing more in myself, I started believing more in the things that I was doing, I believed in people more. My intentions changed and my whole life changed. Okay, so if you're watching this and you're a business owner, I need you to know that these things need to be instilled into your team and it's gotta start with you because you're the leader. And if you're watching this and you're an individual person or you're starting a business, I need you to understand that you are the leader and you must take care of all of these things and do them at a level in which no one's ever done them before in your life. Don't just compete in your company, don't just compete in your state, compete across the world. That's what I do. Okay, so I love you guys, I'm grateful for you. This is how to sell more, this is how to convert at higher levels, this is how to close more. And again, if you're that obsessed psycho competitor who's truly ready for the next level in your life, the next edge, just go down to the description box, answer some questions, and if you're really serious in everything, I feel like you're on the same page, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. Have a blessed day, I love you guys, I'll see you in the next video.